who am I? Who am I? Why is this 14-year-old up here talking to you? <laughs> so, like I said, I'm 29 years old. I was born in 1982. I just still need to grow up my beard a little. Um, that's not me, but when I was, when I start, I started programming computers at the age of eight. So I didn't even learn about computers. When I got on the computer, I immediately started programming again. And essentially, from that time to now, my life has been a big computer. Every book I could get my hands on, everything I could learn about computers and programming them and making them do my bidding is just what I've been obsessed with. It's just a part of who I am. So I've been doing this since 1990. Okay? In 1994, the World Wide Web hit, and I was the World Wide Web got mainstream, and I was on creating websites, and that's when I started my first business, creating websites for businesses. And since then, I've helped thousands of businesses with their online presence, uh, getting online, and and, and uh, growing online, moving online. Probably my biggest call to fame is when Lycus was the Google of their time. They came to me, and I helped them get one of their products online. Uh, that was back in 97 or 98, and I was what, 16 or 17. So the internet is a part of me. And so when I see the power of these companies growing by leaps and bounds, I essentially need to know what that is. And that's when it's essentially my question. So my first uh, serious business was in college. I created a, um, a software that was essentially, um, for lack of a ethical term, kind of pack into the, um, the college's course database and alert students when their, when their classes were available. Essentially, there would be this big, long pile of people leaving classes with no way to get it, so I rigged a system that would essentially call them and say, hey, your class is ready, or you can go register. And so that was my first serious business, and unfortunately, I accidentally crashed the computer system, uh, brought down the network, and I was uh, threatened. I wasn't official, I wasn't expelled, but I was. I got a nice cease and desist letter uh, threatening expulsion and a nice lawsuit. So, needless to say, uh, scared the crap out of me. So that business um, didn't really take off. Now, incidentally, at that same time, um, our friend Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Facebook was in the same situation with a different site. Um, he had more, what's the word for <laughs> And he stuck with it, and I did it. So, but I learned a very, very valuable lesson. Very, very valuable lesson at that age, that this is some really, really powerful stuff. I, um, because of the demand, just in the local campus, I was able to affect, accidentally, all this activity and essentially create this, create, bring down a whole computer system almost accidentally. So when I graduated from college, that's when I got serious, okay? And since then I've worked with thousands of businesses, online and offline. So my first software was um, a website editor because I had been helping businesses get online. The big common, um, this way, the big common request was, hey, it's nice that you've helped me get online. Now I need some control. I want to get it and edit your website. So I created this business that essentially you put your website, and I'll show you how you can get this, this software. Mm -hmm. But um, essentially you put your website in here and just type in directly on the screen so you can edit your website, get published, and automatically go live. You don't need to know anything about technology or anything like that. So that was good. Over 10,000 users since then. Uh, it's called Hand Update. I'll show you how to get it. Um, this uh, is what the next thing that I did, uh, well, next major thing that I did, um, and this was a, a viral software exploiting some of the things that we're talking about, and essentially on the very day that we launched it, we launched it on Twitter, and that day happened to be President Obama's inauguration. So while all of the attention was on him, and what his campaign was tweeting out that day, we kicked his butt. We ended up being number one on Twitter that day, advertising our product. That's what I'm trying to talk about here. Very, very little work. We launch it in this friends telling friends telling friends fashion, and we essentially become the number one most tweeted link on, uh, on Twitter for that day. Since then, it went on to create a full business, uh, supply two full-time incomes for that year, for Twitter got mad at us and it was out and all that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But essentially over 20,000 downloads 
but from one or two days of work. That's what I'm trying to get across. Not that I was able to create numbers, but with very little work, you were able to create this big effect, big change. Okay? Then, quickly, this was a little bit more um, official and less um, could get in trouble. Essentially, QuickBooks was a, a little software that allowed people to share and spread um, links around the web. Um, people using that software, because they were sharing my link, essentially, not to get into any, any details, but essentially the links that they would share would have my name in it. So when people would click on my name, it would <coughs> take them to their destination. But because people were seeing my name, it started to spread all around on the web. Millions of users. Um, well, Man, every story has a bad ending. I didn't realize. <laughs> it's a bad ending, but it just. It, <laughs> but the ending is not so much because of, of, of a mistake, it's because of how powerful this is. It got so big, my, uh, the computer that hosted the website couldn't handle it. It bubbled under the pressure. I lost all the data, and I just didn't have the heart to rebuild it. But because of the overwhelm of the yeah, activity, then, bringing it closer to home in terms of making money, uh, we, me and a couple, a couple guys, we launched a, a, a software, not a software, it was an information product. And because we were stressed, overwhelmed at launching this product, we decided to try a little viral strategy that would essentially um, allow some, of, some people to go and spread the word about it for us. We just got a few people to promote it. As a result, the activity that they were able to produce is over 800,000 blog posts, articles, all in the span of a week, and it brought us over $100,000 in less than seven days. I didn't do that work. They did. Then, last thing I'll talk about is something I launched last year. This was really when it really hit home to me, because I was taking a walk one day, had an idea. In a nutshell, the idea was people like to blog, but they don't like to type. So if they could speak what they wanted, Want what they want to type, maybe the computer can do it for them. So, just from that idea, I ran home, I wrote the software, took me a couple hours to do it. It's a couple hours to do it. It's, it's, not, as, it's not as smart as it sounds. Um, but the key thing is, I launched it that day, and I haven't touched it ever since. It's been almost a year. I haven't touched it ever since. It's still going. You can go on Twitter right now, there's still people that are actively promoting your product for me without me doing any work, and people are downloading, thousands of downloads, and it's still going, and I haven't touched this since very much. This is what I want to share with you today. This is why um, I think you should pay attention.